um here we're back um to try and see to finish up this topic on climate um vegetation so in this aspect we'll be looking at strictly on vegetation in this aspect we're looking at vegetation and uh so the part of vegetation we'll be looking at is uh, we we'll look at the tropical rainforest vegetation tropical rainforest vegetation and we we'll look at uh, the desert uh, ecosystem also so we're going to look at how plants are adapted to these areas including animals and their individual characteristics so starting with tropical rainforest we need to look at their distribution so the distribution and climate of tropical rainforest so the climate of tropical rainforest is the same with that of equatorial climate equatorial climate as um, we explained in um, in the last class on um, this climate system so there is no need for us to talk about that you can actually watch the video to get the concept now also the distribution of major tropical rainforest is also similar to the distribution of equatorial rain uh, equatorial climates because tropical rainforests are found within areas that have equatorial climatic characteristics so you find that tropical rainforests are found near the equator so they are very they have very similar climate all year round now but the vegetation of tropical rainforests so we look at vegetation and how they are adapted to tropical rainforest region so if you look at this usually in igcse you'll be given um sometimes you'll be given diagrams like this and um, you'll be asked questions relating to the vegetation of a tropical rainforest so you should be able to know this and know their individual characteristics because this is actually the uh, characteristics of um, tropical rainforest one you find that that based on height you have the ground level you have shrub layers you have the under canopy you have the main canopy uh, here and you have the emergent which grow out of the main canopy regions then you have plants called the lianas and you have adaptation of these large plants they have what is referred to as a buttress root so um looking at characteristics of tropical rainforest they have dense vegetation so they are closely packed layers of different vegetation so they also have emergent layers which you can see from the diagram they have canopies um, which are tall straight trees with large trunks uh, they have a drip tip uh, or waxy leaf and this help them not to hold water during rainfall they can easily slip down the leaves and down to the ground level so drip leaf simply means leaves that let um, rainfall to travel over them and drip to the ground uh, which cause less damage by excess rain then they have lianas and creepers um, like we saw in the diagram lianas that grows on the tree trunk in order for it to assess light so lianas use large trees to support in order to reach sunlight that's what they are then we have undergrowth or shrub layers at the ground level so shrub layers they are low shrubs or samplings they are plants that adapt because they are extremely close to the forest floor then we also have plants within this area have buttress root um what uh buttress root let me see buttress root so they are very long roots uh, that support tall trees and suck up maximum amount of nutrients in poor soil so that's it so if you look at it here these are the buttress root uh, which is really really um, very large to support the size of the tree they also have shallow shallow buttress root uh, and they are usually evergreen because there is rainfall throughout the year rainfall throughout the year so you expect them to always be green uh, now there's lots of colored flowers berries and fruits in tropical rainforest now these are just the characteristics and that's all you, 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 question that comes out with this are usually five mark questions so if you can state five different characteristics you know them you definitely get your full marks now hot desert ecosystem distribution now hot desert are found 
majorly within areas uh, that have desert climate, yeah, areas that have low rainfall, high temperature, areas that have high pressure um, because air is sinking, no condensation is actually taking place. So if you look at the distribution, so desert are found uh, near the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, which is here and here within those regions. Now, adaptation of plants to desert ecosystem which we need to look at so you find out that, that uh, within a desert ecosystem uh, the plants usually have long roots to reach water underground uh, like the cactus plants they have wide root uh, to collect water from larger areas so what what that means is as it is long it's down if this is the soil as the root goes, the soil starts from here, sorry. So as the root goes down, it also have branches out to cover large area. So as any little amount of rain that falls can easily be absorbed. Now they have fleshy stem. So the stem, which are fleshy, it helps to store water. Now they have thorns, spikes, uh, which help to prevent evaporation and also help to protect um, them from predators. So you find that, that uh, things like um, predators, herbivores, don't easily eat them because of the presence of these thorns. Now seed lies dormant. Um, usually uh, when it is not the growing season so they can be dormant and wait until when there is rainfall so they can actually germinate now they have light colored to reflect sunlight so they don't absorb heat so they don't lose water now they have waxy leaves which help to prevent water loss so you can actually pause this part and just look at this diagram here and look at the features around it now, wildlife and adaptation. How do wildlife adapt to desert ecosystem? Um, wildlife are now animals. We've just looked at plant. How are animals adapted to live within a desert environment? One, you find that the animals can survive long time without water, food, and can store water usually um, so animals that live within that area have that particular features now they are they eat succulent plant so uh, they get the, most of their water from the plant animals within these areas have large feet which help to stop them from sinking into the soil so if you look at the feet here and if you look at that of zip um, uh, what is it called uh, uh, that of no why camels yeah good you find that they have large feet so they can actually sink into the soil so they can actually walk on sand they have very large ears you can see it here large ears uh with many blood vessels to give off excess heat uh so a lot of blood vessels if you do biology you know um they, when you you are hot you tend to have vasodilations um so the blood, a lot of blood flows to the surface of your skin and which help for you to lose heat, you sweat more and help to control your temperature. So that is what is happening here. So they have large ears with a lot of blood vessels uh, which help to release heat. Now they are nocturnal, that means they are active at night. They are majorly active at night time. Um, also, their kidney uh, concentrate urine so uh, they excrete less water and some have a thick outer covering which reduces moisture loss um, also some excrete on their legs they, they pee on their legs they excrete urine on their legs uh, which cool them um, by evaporation and um circulate the cooled blood back into their body they should be see here okay so that's it about the characteristics of these vegetations that's just it the next the last part of this topic we'll look at is deforestation the causes and the impact so uh, thank you